everyone. I'm here with my son Tanner. Um, he is five years old and we are working on ending sounds today. So we are going to be matching um, picture cards to the sound he hears at the end of the word. Are you ready, Tanner? Okay. So Tanner, what, what letter makes the B sound? Right there. What one makes the T sound? Perfect. So if I say the word web, what do you hear at the end of web? What sound? What sound? Good job. Can you match this picture to the letter that makes that sound? Perfect. So slide it in right there. Slide it in. That, that's one point. Awesome. That's one point, he said. What about the picture, the word pot? Pot. 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 And at the, the end of the word, yes. What sound is at the end? T. What sound? T. Good job. What about the word skate? S skate. What sound do you hear? T. Good job. What about the word tub? T tub. T tub. What sound do you hear at the end? B. What about the word crab? What sound do you hear at the end? B. You can put it down here. What about the word feet? Feet. So what words are end with b? Three. What words do you see? Web, tub, and crab. And then what ones do these end with? What sound? Skate, pot, and foot. What sound do you hear at the end? Tub. Good job. So this activity is really good for working with students um, that are early readers. So they really need to be able to hear the sounds at beginning and ends of words, um, and then eventually in the middle vowels that come. So with Tanner, he is starting to read, and he's starting to write CVC words um, pretty independently, but he can't hear the ends of the sounds of the words that they make. So that's why we've been working on basic sorts. So any picture sort, um, that have very short words that have very specific sounds. And then the other thing you want to consider in the pictures you choose is that some of these words like tub have the t sound at the beginning of it. So really pushing him to think, no, that's the beginning sound, not the end sound, to get in that habit of um, listening through the word for the end. So it's really important to be selective about the words that you're choosing. So the picture cards that I use are from the Fountas and Pinnell classroom um, system. And I really like their resources. Um, it's what I have access to as a teacher. So I print their word cards or their picture cards rather for um, our use all the time. But you can use any pictures from the web, just any Google image search, just the same way. Just make sure that you have, it's very clear out what the picture is. Um, it's important to use the same picture. So if you're working on beginning sounds, we might still use tub to hear the t at the beginning, um, the same picture. So that way they can have that consistency across. Um, you can also do this with more than just two letters. Um, we could have had three letters. My pocket chart just holds two, but I could have easily added um, maybe the f sound for since I had feet in there or maybe the p since I had pot, you know, thinking about that um, so that they can... Um, be able to distinguish is at the beginning or the end of the word that they're listening for. And you can do this for every constant um, sound that there is. And eventually, what you want students to be able to do is transfer it into the books that they're reading to be able to read through the word, um, starting at the beginning sound and reading all the way through it. And also in their writing, being able to label things around the house. So maybe our next step could be um, writing picture cards that match to the tub in our bathroom and that match the door in our um, living room, things like that. So making sure we take it beyond just the word work section into reading and into writing. All right, thanks for joining, guys. Have a great day.